Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amatazar from the Chicago camp, coming back at you again with another lesson entitled Penny for a Day. <clears throat> so in this thumbnail, okay, um, you see Jake. These are, are undocumented so-called workers. Um, Sometimes they congregate in front of Home Depot and uh, they're just looking for work. <clears throat> so you have different uh, general contractors and, and stuff like that. They'll they'll go and snatch up Jake and f find out what kind of skills he got. You know, you got people that are uh, skilled in carpentry and plumber, plumbing and electrical. Okay, so all kind of uh, bricklaying, roofing, and the like. All right, now, <clears throat> when Esau uh, don't have any part of it, it's called illegal. But if Esau can get his cut, it's called staffing. Okay. It's called day labor. They have, they actually have, uh, they actually have businesses called day labor. So you walk in, you sign the paperwork, sign a contract. And they'll help you get work for a cut. But again, if Esau ain't getting his cut, this is called illegal. <laughs> All right, so this uh, <clears throat> this uh, this lesson is going to be called Penny for a Day. All right, I, I got some scriptures. We're going to come back to these scriptures, but let's go into uh, Matthew, the 20th chapter. Because I was reading in the book of Matthew. I said, wow, let me bring this out. All right, so Matthew, the 20th chapter. All right, and I'll, I'll start reading uh, from the top. And, of course, the, uh, the words in red. All right, it's Yahweh It says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers in his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. All right, so now the penny, <clears throat> okay, um, or the denarius was a day's pay. Uh, the equivalent of 10 asses, okay? So a day's wage, basically. All right? <clears throat> so I'll read to again. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. All right? So the third hour is 9 a.m., and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth hour. Okay? And the sixth hour is noon. Okay? Um, and the ninth hour, which is three, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, which is about five o'clock in the evening, he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, because no man have hired us. He saith unto them, go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour, they received every man a penny. So they got a whole day's pay and they only worked the hour. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house. 
saying, These last have robbed but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day? But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. All right. So that's, that is a very, very interesting parable. Okay. Now, for those of us that send this truth, this parable has the significance and the meaning and the understanding of exactly who's working in the vineyard. All right. So those are, those are the, the men in, on, in, on the highways and the byways. All right. And the chief place of concourse that's out there preaching this word. All right. The good man is Yahweh Shai. And the penny is the reward. Okay. The penny is the reward. The penny is the kingdom. So let's take a look. I got some scriptures. This is Luke 17 and 7. It says, But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by and by, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterwards thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he thank that servant, because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all the, those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty. All right. So, so for the men of the Lord, all right, that are out here on the highways and the byways, okay, and the hedges, hey, this is our reasonable service, okay? This is what the Lord said, hey, this is what it is. This is what you're going to do, okay? So there is, there is no, uh, nickel and dime in the Lord when it comes to to this truth you can't just do what you want okay you gotta you gotta be diligent we gotta be out here all right and when it comes to your work schedule you gotta work around your work schedule and you gotta you gotta do the sacrifice your house I did okay he sacrificed his life for us all right that that, that we can come back to the father this is Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do to show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Okay. So, so the Lord, the Lord is not going to forget the labor or the work that we've done. Okay, He don't have to do it. He don't have to do anything for us. Okay, what He did was enough. He don't have to do anything extra for us. But all the all the goodies and everything that we have here, uh, as the fashion of this world is is passing away. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, those those are, are are just those are blessings just to to make things a little bit easier before the night come. All right, see, we got to work while it's day. All right, but when the night come, no man can work. All right, and in closing, this is First Corinthians nine and sixteen. It says, "For though I preach the gospel, this is talking about Paul, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me." Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, 
a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. All right. So Paul says, hey, you know what? It says necessity is laid upon me. It says, woe is unto me or destruction is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Hey, I got to do this thing regardless. <laughs> hey, hey, if I hey, if I don't do if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, destruction is upon me. Okay, it says, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. See, we just read that the Lord is is not unrighteousness unrighteous to forget our labor of love. Paul said, hey, if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will. A dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. All right. So, so Paul, Paul had, uh, you know, he, he had a, a special message. He had that gospel of the grace of God, Acts 20 and 24. Okay. Um, he was the apostle to the Gentiles. He had to make known, you know, um, you know, how the Lord was reconciling, you know, uh, the Gentiles, which were, the scattered Israelites back to himself. Okay. That was his dispensation. That was what he had to do. That's what, what he had to, um, or his work that he had to, uh, to put out. All right. And so this, uh, penny for a day again, you know, uh, the penny. All right. Is the reward. Everybody's getting the same reward. Okay, that same reward is the kingdom of heaven. All right, so whether whether you came in 30 years ago, like the uh, elder apostles, all right, or you came in 20 years ago, okay, um, like the elder bishops, okay, the reward is, is, is still the kingdom. All right, I pray that this lesson has been edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.